Shalom, and welcome back to B'nai Noach Academy, Thoughts on Life. Please remember to hit the like button and to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And most importantly, to share this wisdom and inspiration with friends and family. So on the night of Passover, when all Jews sit down for this Seder, that is this festive, elaborate feast at which we also follow through an order of specific observances as mandated by the Torah. Of course, we eat the matzah, we drink the four cups of wine, and then we also eat the bitter herbs. Why do we eat the bitter herbs? Well, the Torah instructs us to do so. In fact, the Torah tells us that when we eat the Passover offering, we should eat it together with matzah and mirorim. Mirorim means bitter herbs, very bitter herbs. Many, for example, actually consume horseradish, raw horseradish. That is quite bitter. And the question is why? Everything in the Torah has a reason. Not only a reason for the moment at that we are actually observing that particular observance, but rather it has a lesson in life, a collective lesson in life for all days, for all times. What really is the message here? If you think about it, it would, on the surface at least, it would seem not to make much sense. Here we are enjoying a celebration of freedom, a celebration of excitement, a celebration of going out of slavery, leaving the past, the difficult behind us, and now moving forward to freedom, to success. Why would we need to remind ourselves of the bitterness? In fact, that is the reason the Torah tells us to eat this bitter herb, to remember the bitterness of what they felt back there in Egypt. Well, perhaps we can look at it this way. You see, the nature of the human being is that when the human being is in distress, when the human being is going through difficulty, that typically softens a person's heart. That person is more susceptible to have more compassion especially on the downtrodden, especially on those who are in need, because they feel it. It's very close to them. It's a part of their reality. But sadly, when people move on from that, when they enjoy a sudden success, when they enjoy that exodus from the enslavement or that exit from the difficulty, too often, the human being forgets the past. And perhaps even some people become very, very hardened and they become somewhat arrogant and they become this less compassionate, to say the least. And this is what God is telling us. I want you to remember the bitter past. I want you to remember your humble beginnings. I want that you to remember how it felt back then so you don't forget and you don't get carried away with the freedom, you don't get swept away with the riches. You do not become callous. You do not become apathetic to those in need, to those who are suffering, to those who may need your help. This is a very universal message. And on the night of Passover, when we are charging our spiritual, emotional batteries with the taste of freedom for the entire year, this is when God reminds us of this and tells us, be the best person you can be all the time, anytime.